What's going on, guys? It's your boy Jimmy Blue, Mr. All Access Elite Boxing Report, and live from Dallas, Texas. Listen, guys, I want to thank everybody for tuning in and continuously supporting All Access Elite Boxing. I wanted to show you guys uh, a piece of, of Muhammad Ali's metallic all metal cards that I recently purchased off of, e off of eBay. Uh, for those that follow me and for those that personally know me, they know that I'm an avid boxing collector. I love collecting boxing cards, uh, magazines, posters, pictures. I have tons and tons of signed boxing gloves. And of course, you know, for those that have been supporting my page, I am a boxing reporter slash boxing enthusiast. So I wanted to show you guys, uh, again, this metallic impressions that came out in the mid-1990s from Muhammad Ali all metal cars this is still sealed in the box guys so i wanted to, to again open it for you guys uh and i wanted to let's see what we got man you know i'm excited i'm excited and again if you ain't had a chance make sure to follow me all access elite boxing on facebook instagram and of course hit that subscribe button let's go baby let's give me one second here all right man let's see what we get like i said this is still sealed uh, I got a very good deal on this, and, you know, I'm a sucker for good deals. So, if it's a great opportunity, you know, I, I, I hate uh I never pass it up. Let's see what we got going on over here. So, apparently, it comes with five or six uh, metal cards of Muhammad Ali. And, like I said, this is steel sealed. Uh, I didn't see very many of these um, as far as, like, on eBay or Amazon or anything like that. Uh, but, you know, it's very uh, boxing cards are not very as far as uh they're not very popular they they came out with a lot of boxing cards uh, in the early 1990s um uh, but then of course uh recently with the basketball football you know baseball cards uh they have been releasing single uh as far as boxing cards whether it's from Teofimo Lopez, Ryan Garcia, uh Miguel Cotto, Roy Jones Jr., Freddie Roach uh you know Tops does a pretty good job uh, as far as releasing, um, you know, cards once every year. And then, of course, you still have, like, the Jack Johnsons and, you know, all of the all of the, the legends, so to speak. So here we go, guys. Check this out. Ah, oh, man, it comes in a really nice tin can. Muhammad Ali tin can. Look at this, guys. Embossed metal coll uh, collector cards, Muhammad Ali, and it has like gold. Um, has seems to have like gold and, and silver glitter. Like I said, here he goes. It feels pretty heavy, to be quite honest. Man, wow, these are nice, guys. Look at this. These are very, very nice. Oh, these are pretty heavy, too. These are nice metal cards. Look at the back of them. These are really, really cool. I like them. They're still, uh, still in the case. These look in very, very good condition. 1964. Muhammad Ali. And these are, again, these are metal cards. Metal tin cards. These are from 1995, guys. These are really dope. I really like these. Let's take a better look here. Look at that. And I don't know how many of you guys collect as far as uh, boxing cards, but, you know, I have tons, tons and tons of boxing cards from the UK, you know, all over the world, you know, whether it's Roberta Duran, Sugar Ray Leonard, Tommy Hitman Hearns, uh, Roy Jones Jr., Julio Cesar Chavez, Salvador Sanchez. Uh, you know, I have a couple of PSA graded cards as well. Uh, you know, it's just something that I I enjoy collecting. It's something that I enjoy as far as uh, you know, collecting as a as an avid collector. Look at this. This is nice. Very very nice. 
Here's the last one on the card. Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. So this is a five of five, guys. And like I said, you know, uh, I found these on eBay. I got a very, very good deal off uh, off the guy. You know, and a lot of times what you'll notice, guys, if, if for those that do collect or that that haven't collected, you know, you're going to run across people that may not know a lot about boxing. You know, they may have uh, certain boxing items, uh, whether it's T-shirts, whether it's, uh, you know, boxing memorabilia. And a lot of times, you know, they don't really, again, they don't know anything about boxing. So they're either just, they're trying to make it sell and they're just trying to, to get rid of a lot of their items. So, uh, you know, sometimes don't be, don't be afraid to, to look at, uh, to see what you guys want. Don't be afraid to make an offer because a lot of times these guys don't know what they have and, you know, they just want to, uh, to sell a lot of these items. These are really, really cool. I'm very, very pleased with this. I wanted to, to show you guys one more box that I recently purchased. It just came in as well. I bought this off of a gentleman. And shout outs to uh, Vintage Sports Flips. I bought it off of his. Uh, he has a whatnot account. But he also has an Instagram. Vintage Sports Flips. And he gave me a good deal. It was an auction deal off of these. But I wanted to share with you. Uh, some nice packaging. The items that I actually won. That, that I bid it on. And this guy has some really good stuff. So. Let's see here. I appreciate the wrapping. Uh oh. This is nice. I remember this one. Very, very cool. Holy shit, this is nice. Look at this, guys. This is a vintage... Vintage picture frame. Roy Patterson. Has to, has to be at least from the 50s. This is very, very, very cool. He took very, very uh, good care of this picture. And I'm going to be, of course, putting it up in my uh, soon-to-be man cave. And these items I also purchased. Oh, give me one second. These are uh, exhibit. These are from the 30s. I know Exhibit came out in the 1900s, in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. This is Sandy Sadler. Former world champion. Check this out. These are in very good condition. I like that. These are very vintage. Very, uh, very collectible. And this is Ike Williams. Look at this card. Has a little bit of wear and tear, but you're going to see that, especially from cards from the 1930s and the 1940s. But overall, this is a very, very well, um, it's in really good shape. I like it. And like I said, this is just some pieces that I, that I purchased. Like I, uh, I'm a big boxing fan. I wanted to share with you guys. So if you guys are into the hobby, if you guys are into collecting, hey, man, uh, check us out. And uh, also a big shout outs to Antique Sports Shop and my boy Keith, man. I appreciate the love and appreciate you uh, taking care of your boy Jimmy Blue. Uh, again, it's your boy Jimmy Blue, Mr. All Access Elite Boxing, signing off, baby.